Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. Today is the 2nd of March. January, February, March 2022. So today is what? January, February, March 322. Oh, well, whatever. At any rate, let's yep, just crash right into me because you're an idiot. People are the best. Okay, I have never seen this. I'm 54 years old, okay? I mention that every once in a while. And I mention that for a reason, because when you've been around for 54 years, you've seen some stuff. Do you see what I mean? And unlike most other YouTubers, I've seen a lot of stuff in this life, okay? I've been successful. I've been homeless. I've been married. I've been singled. I've been in prison. I've been out of prison. I've been in jail. I've been out of jail. I've been in the military. I've been out of the military. I've been in gangs. I've been out of the gangs. I've lived this life till the wheels fell off. And then I put the wheels back on. Literally. I have never... I, I just did not think Americans were this stupid that in a 54-year period, I would see the same cycle come back around that existed as when I was born. When I was a kid, the big bad wolf was Russia. The big bad wolf's favorite weapon was nukes the big red button they're gonna press the button nuclear war nuclear war nuclear war well i thought everybody got over that and i thought everybody figured that out that that was a complete and utter ruse because if anybody had nukes and if nukes were real because they're not we would have seen one go off somebody would have got a hold of one because governments authorities etc etc are shady people and money is everything We've had enough nuclear physicists, we've had enough nuclear research people come forward in videos, straight up telling you that nukes aren't real. And I always kind of wondered why Nagasaki and Hiroshima weren't totally uninhabitable right now because we nuked them. We're allegedly the only country on earth that's ever nuked another country and we nuked them allegedly after they already surrendered just because they wanted to see the big boom and scare people. And that scare has lasted, I just can't believe, to this day. Because last night, my UPS guy, Rodrigo, who is a good guy, he's kind of awake, he gets what's going on. He showed up at my house late with a pretty expensive order that I wanted to make sure it didn't get lost or whatever. I help him unload it, and we're talking, and blah, blah, blah. And he says... Uh, I said, dude, just live for today, man. Live every day like it's your last. One of these days, you'll be right. Sinatra said that, FYI. He said, the only thing I'm afraid of is Russia pushing that big red button. And I was like, man, are you kidding me? Are we back there again? Half of the footage you're seeing coming from Russia isn't real whatsoever at all. We are literally living in Wag the Dog. They made the movie Wag the Dog. They put all their big, fancy actors. De Niro. I mean, they put all their famous people in movies that are really important for predictive programming. Wag the Dog explained everything. Wag the Dog explained how they made up a war just to cover and divert people's attention. They're dropping the mask mandates. They're easing off. They're backing up like all is well, but then suddenly, out of nowhere... Russia rises up. Russia is the bad guy. All eyes are on Russia, on the Ukraine, etc. Half the footage we're getting is fake. It bums me out that people don't care about that video that I put up and the Potter's YouTube, the Potter's Clay YouTube channel put up that showed the mainstream media showing Turkey attacking Syria over and over and over and saying that and reports of atrocities are coming out. That's a huge statement right there because if they were inadvertently, accidentally, innocently running footage that they all believed was another country attacking another country big time and one of our ally allies, well, it is what it is. But the fact that they knew it was fake and they said reports of atrocities. How are the reports of atrocities coming out of Syria when this all happened in Kentucky? Kentucky. United States of America, Kentucky. People didn't freak out. People didn't lose their minds. And coincidentally, that entire event with Turkey, Syria, and Kentucky happened one week prior 
to event 201. And after all the elites and after all the wealthy people watched us absolutely do nothing, do nothing, like materialistic, too busy to do anything, I can't drive right now because I'm texting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I can't think about that because somebody just upset me with their words and I don't know what to do because words hurt so bad. Blah, 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 blah. After all that, the elite sat down and said, let's do this. Let's force these people. Actually, let's not even force them. Let's have them help us trick everybody into changing their DNA. Screw the mark of the beast. We're going to change their DNA right off the bat. You don't see anything about that? Y you know, you don't see anything about that on the internet prior, prior to this whole thing happening. And yet here it is. So the fact that people are falling for this all over again is absolutely unbelievable because this is a big one. Well, why would they do that? Because this allows everything else they haven't got to yet. Everything that they can't blame on a coronavirus strain. This disrupts the food supply. This creates inflation. This stops gasoline. This can do cyber attacks. This can take out the internet. This can do so many things for them. This is like a Leatherman multi-tool. This gives them all sorts of options that they couldn't figure out how to do. But here's the deal. We knew they were going to do this. We knew they were going to do this. People that somehow think that Russia isn't involved, this is the new world order. These people were here before everybody that we know and everybody that we know before us and everybody that we know before us as well. Nobody gets into power. Nobody gets into place just because they got guys and guns. These people have been here since day one. They've had, they've had their foot in it since day one. Do you see what I'm saying? So nobody's neutral. Anybody that's worth anything, anybody that's talking in an authority position to the people of the earth that's making sense, well, they get dealt with. Ask James Traficante how it worked out telling the truth. You know what I'm saying? Ask Reagan how it turned out when he thought that he was really going to fight the communists and they put a bullet in him just to warn him. You know what I'm saying? Ask Kennedy what it's like when you think you're going to go up against the Central Intelligence Agency or the Federal Reserve. You, do you see what I'm saying? It's just astonishing to me that this continues to go on and, and my people perish for lack of knowledge. It blows me away. It blows me away. At any rate, don't believe the hype, but believe this. If you're sitting around worried about a nuclear weapon landing in your backyard, don't worry about that. You ain't going to die like that. You're probably going to die cold, hungry, and alone. That sucks, right? <laughs> well, I can only warn you so much. I can't come to your house personally and help you get ready. I'm out.